Three partners shared the profit in a business in the ratio of 5 is to 7 is to 8. They had partnered for 14 months, 8 months and 7 months respectively. What was the ratio of their investments? Well, let the investments made by these partners be X, Y and Z. Now we know the time periods of the investments of these partners which is 14 months, 8 months and 7 months respectively. And we have also been given the ratio of their profits which is 5 is to 7 is to 8. So I can write 5 is to 7 is to 8 is equals to the formula is the amount invested by the first person which is x times its time period which is 14 months so 14x. Similarly we have is to for the next person who invests y rupees for 8 months so we have 8y is to similarly for z we have 7z. Now what we want is the ratio of their investments which means we want x is to y is to z. Now we have an equation here we can convert it right. So we can write x is to y is to z as equal to 5 by 14 is to 7 by 8 is to 8 by 7. These terms go appropriately to their left hand side. Now how can we solve this? Well multiply each term of the ratio by 8 times 14 and you'll get rid of the denominators. So we have 5 by 14 times 8 times 14 is to 7 by 8 times 8 times 14 is to 8 by 7 times 8 times 14 right is equal to x is to y is to z. So this 14 this 14 gets cancelled out this 8 and this 8 gets cancelled out and this 7 times 2 is 14. So we have 5 is a 40 is to 7 times 14 is equal to 98 is to 8 times 8 is 64 times 2 is equal to 128 is equal to x is to y is to z. Now even if we divide this complete ratio by 2 we will get 20 is to something is to something and that is not in our options right. So the correct answer to this question is none of these but we found out the ratio of their investment right. A and B are partners in a business. A contributes one fourth of the capital for 15 months and B received two thirds of the profit. For how long B's money was used? Well let the total profit be P and B received two thirds of this total profit which means that B's share of profit is equal to two thirds of P so 2 by 3 P. Now the total profit is P and B gets two thirds of that so we can now calculate A's share of profit which is equal to the total profit P minus B's share minus 2 by 3 P and that is equal to P by 3 right. Now we have A's share and B's share of profit. We can get the ratio of that. So A by B or A is to B is equal to P by 3 by 2 by 3 P. So P and 3 get cancelled out. This is 1 by 2. So A is to B the profit share of A is to the profit share of B is equal to 1 is to 2. We have this crucial information right now. Now let the capital of this business be C rupees right. Now A contributes one fourth of that capital for 15 months right. Now we have this information right here the ratio of the profit shares of A and B which is 1 by 2 and we know the formula for this. Let's write it 1 by 2 is equal to the share of profit is equal to the compounded ratio of the investments and the time periods. Let us see what the investments are. So 1 by 2 is equal to the investment done by A. Well the investment done by A is 1 fourth of the capital. So 1 by 4 of the capital C times the time period which is 15 months here. So times 15 okay divided by what is B's share. Now let us calculate B's share. 
A contributes one fourth of the capital, which means that the rest of the three fourths of the capital is contributed by B. So we can write the contribution or the investment done by B as three fourth of the capital times the time period of B, and that's what we have to find out the time period of B. Let us assume that the time period is Y, right? Now we can find out y from this equation. So c and c gets cancelled out, 4 and 4 get cancelled out. We can write y is equals to, y goes to the left, we have 15 by 3 times 2. So 3 times 5 is 15, 5 times 2 is 10. So 10 months is the time period for which b's money was used. So option c is the correct answer.